Think prevention, live long. This video is going to explain you about heart failure. Heart failure is one of the most uh, dreaded, most uh, concerning condition for all of us. You know, every day many Americans get admitted with heart failure in the hospital and uh, they just don't do well. Once a heart failure happens, chances of dying is extremely high. So not only let's prevent the heart failure, but also if I ask you that, then if I tell you that you have heart failure, let's take care of it. So you don't have to go to hospital and you, you live long. So what should we do? Once, you, once I say you have heart failure, I'll explain you about the reasons why you have gone into heart failure. The most common reason would be heart blockage and heart attack. You will be on certain proper medications for the heart failure and I'll explain you all that in detail. But the reason I have made this video is to have you be part of the team to treat the heart failure and prevent the hospitalization. So what's your role? Your role is to avoid as much salt as possible. Look at every, uh, every uh, food item you have in your hand. Look at the sodium content. I want you to keep total sodium content, to total sodium content if, uh, below 1500 if you can, below 1500. So for example, if you have uh, orange juice, you know, let's see sodium content is 80 uh, milligram. That's 80. You know, if you eat uh, a frozen pizza, which I don't want you to eat, will have about 600 milligram of sodium. So you can understand that what the frozen food can lead to you. And I think uh, many admissions for the heart failure consistently I've seen happen after a weekend where the person had a lot of frozen food and a lot of Chinese food and other things where they have eaten a lot of sodium and now they have retained so much uh, water. The other thing I want you to do once I say that you have heart failure is that make a case to do daily weight again. Make a case to do daily weight. If you suddenly gain three pounds over three days and particularly if you gain five pounds over three days I want you to call my office right away. That means you have gained a lot of water and a lot of salt and we will need to get you on a stronger diuretic to make sure that you don't end up getting to the hospital. If you're having increasing shortness of breath, if you're feeling more fatigue, if you're waking up at night with more shortness of breath, make sure you call my office. Heart failure is, is, a, is a disease where if we work together as a team, we can prevent a lot of hospitalizations. Uh, the proper medications I give you, you will need to take, make sure that you take them on time. Uh, before you run out of the medicine, make sure you get proper refills. The diuretics, if I ask you to adjust the diuretics on the phone, make sure you understand the dose, the name. If I ask you to take diuretic uh, based on your weight gain, make sure you understand the plan. And then obviously my office staff and I'll explain you everything. But the congestive heart failure is, is a very uh, uh, complex condition for all of us to understand. And I want you to take advantage of uh, in our office uh, staff and the material we have. Take, take material home, read about it, uh, you know, ask me questions, but let's just make sure that you avoid as many hospitalizations as possible once you have the heart failure. Once you have a congestive heart failure, if your heart is weak, uh, you probably will have a, we call ICD placement, where in case if you go into, in case if you, in case a person has a cardiac arrest, uh, that ICD will get you out of the cardiac arrest. So we'll talk about that also. Uh, again, ask me questions and let's just work together for this congestive heart failure uh, condition. Thank you. When we think prevention, live long, the heart of mid Michigan strong.